Yo, what's going on guys? Nasher here, back with another NHL 20 video, and this time, we are doing a little test. Now, there's all this controversy in Hockey Ultimate Team. A lot of people feel like the stats of the goalies do absolutely nothing. Now, there is one thing that I feel like really, really matters in this game, and that is the height of the goalie. In today's video, we're going to be doing a test matching one of the smallest goalies available in the game to one of the biggest goalies in the game. On the big side, we have Dallas Stars goalie Ben Bishop. He comes in at a height of 6'7", 225 pounds. On the small end, we have Chicago Blackhawks legend Darren Pang. And if you have not heard of Darren Pang, this guy is small. This, this guy is very small. We are talking 5'5", 157 pounds. So we have two goalies on the complete opposite end of the spectrum. 6'7", Ben Bishop, and 5'5", Darren Pang. How this video is going to work, we're going to hop into two games of Hockey Ultimate Team Online Seasons. And at the end of each game, we're going to go into the action tracker, take a look at each replay, and see how the goalies perform. In game one, we're playing just like normal. I'm using Ben Bishop, who I've been using all year long. And in game two, we're putting in 5'5", Darren Pang, and giving him a shot. This is something I truly want to get to the bottom of. Will 5'5", Darren Pang, play better than Ben Bishop? Today, we'll find out. Now, a lot of you guys probably haven't seen my updated lineup. If you don't follow me on Twitch, we literally play every single night on there, twitch.tv slash Nasher. This is the squad that we are rolling with. We've got Lemieux, Lafleur, McDavid, Stammer, Solani, and Cooch on that second line. Honestly, the team is pretty much perfect. Defense looking solid as well. And with that being said, we are ready to hop into game number one. All right, here we go. Game number one with Penn Bishop playing against future Hendrix. And I don't think you guys have seen this on YouTube yet. We have the play of the month jerseys on. Oh my. Take a look at these beauties. If you guys did not see, I was lucky enough to get the number three spot in the NHL top plays of the month. And with that, you get these unreal jerseys. We're already going on the power play. Now, I am hoping that we're going to be at least playing against decent opponents. So... We can have some shots against because obviously if we play perfect defense and Ben Bishop doesn't need to make a save, then the point of this video is kind of gone. All right, we're doing a little bit of work here. Nice little cycle game all set up. And Solani misses the net 10 feet wide. Just doing a little behind the net offense right now. Rolling the puck and okay, Rene, nice save. All right, his first shot of the game. Be fair, it was Lemieux. Cutting across the slot. That's a goal that does go in quite a bit. But uh, Big Ben Bishop, 0 for 1. Going for a little skate, little spinner. Bah! What a goal. Kucherov with the spin. Solani sitting backdoor. And we are tied at 1. Yeah, I don't think it really matters who the goalie is on that one. That one's probably going to go in pretty much every single time. But that one there... You know what? That's, I mean, it's basically the same goal. Deserved to go in, but again, I'm showing you guys every single shot that's taken against me, and right now, Ben Bishop is 0 for 2. That's just bad defense, to be honest. Like, every now and then, you're going to make a mistake on defense, and that's when you need your goalie to come up big. Right now, there's Ben Bishop's first save of the game. I knew that was going to be a hook right when I hit it, and there it is. On to period number two. Uh, I'm just going to get back to my game, man. I've been rolling behind the net offense a lot this year, and it seems to be working pretty well. Setting up behind the net, getting a cycle game set up. Let's get back to playing. Bang. Nice setup. All right, all right. Things are, things are looking good now. We're getting back to our movement. Setting up some nice little tic-tac-toe plays. If I can get this guy on the rush without him just completely destroying me on the blue line, we can score pretty much every time. Uh-oh, could it be? First breakaway attempt, Ben Bishop. Let's go, Benny. What a save. And then we might have a breakaway the other way. Backhander, let's go. Ben Bishop with a huge save on the other end. Kucherov grabs the puck on a B-way. Pretty much the same move that he tried to do on me, I did to him. A nice, simple backhander, but it actually worked. All right, Benny. I'm going to need you to just make one semi-average cross crease save this game please of course it still goes in okay we got a game usually make the save but when it comes to just like average cross creases 
or you know little five hole shots from mid slot those are gonna go in apparently every single time this is one of the worst goaltending performances i've seen from ben bishop and i've been using him pretty much all year long i've been trying to chill you know talk a lot i'm gonna get into my zone right now we're gonna get back to playing some sweaty nhl 20 no more dumb penalties playing our game let's go starting now four seconds give me one more rush go ahead flurry back door oh i had kucherov going to the net i thought we had a shot at that Oh my, yo, <laughs> win the draw straight up the ice, Lafleur does a little toey and snipes it top left. Yo, can we do the same thing twice with Lemieux? <laughs> Imagine if that went in. <laughs> Standing in the lane, trying to prevent that pass from going across. Like, look at this defense from Subban. I'm standing there with my stick out to prevent that pass, but no dice. Oh, he stepped a little bit too early. Easy back door. Nope, we'll take a... All right, nice save by Rene. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Stammer! Yo, what is that angle? What a pass, dude. There are some weird goals going in for both goalies this game. Let's step up our defensive game here. I'm not giving this guy another cross crease, all right? We're going for a one hand. Oh, P shot. P shot. Give it to me. 100% we had a one hander. I'm going to go with the reg Datsuk. Bang. Yo, Austin Matthews sitting wide alone in front as he walked it into his own net, blocked his goalie, and gave me that left side. Let's go. Boom. Knew that was getting through, man. I had a feeling this is just an offensive battle right now. Oh my, what a lift. Oh my. Yo, give me a, give me a rage quit. Do it. He's out of here. There it is. All right, first game. Pretty good sample size of a lot of different shots on Ben Bishop, the saves that he made. We got we got a couple lucky bounces, came out on top, and he just couldn't take that last goal, I guess. Watch this play from Kucherov. Puck going into the corner. Little stick lift. Horton goes flying into the corner. Cooch picks it up, takes it to the net. Wide open. Don't mind if I do. The save percentage from Ben Bishop, not the best performance from him. 15 total shots against. 10 saves for a save percentage of 0.667. Now, to be fair, I only had 16 shots and had eight goals for 0.5 for Rene. So, I mean, it's not looking good either way. But before we get into the next game, I want to take a look at every single goal against and just break down whether it was saveable or whether Ben Bishop let us down. So first goal coming in, this one, that's a blatant cross crease. Again, not on Ben Bishop. Number two, maybe a bit more debatable. On this one, I kind of did accidentally set a double screen on him. We had both Lemieux and Subban right in his lane. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. That one's tough to see. Number three is definitely his worst goal of the game. This one just goes off Subban's skate and goes right to him and he just throws a, a weird backhander five hole this one kind of a weird one as well it's not like a guaranteed cross crease one he's kind of cutting more to the mid slot i'm thinking bishop probably could have had that save and last goal of the game this one's lemieux winding up a clapper uncovered i thought suban was going to be able to intercept this puck but it goes right under his stick can't complain about that one just because it's coming from lemieux nice shot so all in all, I think there's probably about two total goals Ben Bishop could have had back of the five. Not the best performance, but I've definitely seen worse games out of him. So I'll be happy with that. That's game number one. Now we got to test out the man, the myth, the legend, Darren Pang. 5'5", 157 pounds. That's crazy. All right, game number two. We've got Darren Pang, the legend in net. All right, here goes nothing, boys. Wish me luck. Let's end this early. Imagine that goes in. Oh my, dude, look at how small Pang is back here. Are you kidding? Yo, I need like a screenshot of Bishop on the overhead and Pang right now. Hey, you know what? The good thing about being small, he's gonna be nice and speedy. All right, maybe he'll be better on those, those cross crease one-timers. Pang, uh, 
Well, to be fair, it wasn't a cross crease one time. Or it Dude, are you actually kidding me right now? <laughs> what is that backhand? Look at this. I don't think I've ever seen a backhand like that go in. Like, I can't catch a break right now. Nothing is going my way. We gotta really start. Oh my. But this game is not over yet, boys. Because we are coming back. We're fighting strong. And most importantly, you know what we say here. We never give up. Alright, period number one. Uh, Pang, I gotta say, you're costing us the game right now. Nice goal, man. Good stuff. Good, good backdoor feed. Alright, no messing around now, boys. It's comeback time. Ready? Boom! One. Kucherov. Backdoor. One-handed. One T. We're back in this game. Dude, what is going on with these pens right now, man? Every single time I hit A, it's a penalty. I don't even think he shook his hand. Let's go, Pang. Yo, Pang's kind of feeling the comeback right now. You feeling it, boys? I'm... Uh-oh. Hold on. I, I don't even know what I just witnessed. I have no idea, man. Pang's going to cover the puck and it's behind him. Finally, man, we are on the power play. Let me bury one. Hate to say it, I took another hook, boys. I took another hook. We're 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, let's go. The boys are back. The boys are back. Let's go. Little lucky. Uh, all right. Very, very lucky pass. So if you're wondering why I was singing the boys are back now, I truthfully have no idea. So don't ask. Right now, my strategy is just, just don't let him take shots on Pang. If Pang gets a shot on him, it's going in. Oh my, space. Let's go, boys. We never give up on this channel. I'm telling you. Oh, he's starting to just fire everything on net too. He knows we have Pang in net. He knows all he has to do is shoot it. So we literally have to play perfect defense to get this win. I'm sensing, I'm sensing a goal here. Look at this, boys. We are doing work right now. I told, he was getting a little bit too aggressive in the corners and it, it opened up so much space. Oh my, back door. Oh, 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 not quite where we wanted it to go, but hold on, we can make this work. Ready, pop, let's go, boys. Down by three. And we are now up by one. We have turned this game around. Solani, the beauty. You know that this guy is absolutely rattled right now. We bury one more. He's probably out of here. Will it be the same fate? Pang, I'm throwing it. Pang, you legend. Four big saves. I mean, not really saved, but we're going to count him. Pang is just turning it up right now. Staying focused. I don't want to sit back and just try to get away with sneaking by. I want to bury one more goal. So we're going to come up. We're going to do just that. This could be it. Oh my, Pang. Let's go, Pang. Clutch up. How about another? Pang. 20 seconds left. Give me a rush with Cooch. Tried a little one-hander. Why would I do that? Another three on two. Good pokes. And a trip. And I think... That is going to do it. Pang probably had a period of about 20 minutes where he didn't have a shot against. That's when the comeback happened. That's when we got up by one. But then in the dying seconds of the game, Darren Pang, Chicago legend, comes up with four big saves to keep us alive. Now can we bury one last goal just to secure it? Three seconds, cutting across. No, but we did it five to four the final score. I was down four to one I think going into the second period or midway through the second something around there We bounce back Pang starts to step it up Now let's go watch some of these replays. All right, he had the 86 Gibson 19 shots against 14 saves for a save percentage of 0.737 Do we think Darren Pang's is better or worse he has done it but just barely 18 shots against 14 saves and darren pang the legend 
with a 0.778 save percentage. Let's get it. Uh, I absolutely have to go back and watch some of these goals on Darren Peck. These were some weird, like very weird goals. Kessel gets the first one with <laughs> this backhand, dude. I've got two people in front. Pang is that puck goes in the center of the net. <laughs> this one's really weird too. Look at this angle from Pang. He's cut it off. Look, he slides pretty well left to right, but McDavid with absolutely no angle somehow sneaks that one in. All right, then we have Crosby here. <laughs> this one, this one was wild too, to be honest. He's going in for a backhand. Really weird animation. Crosby just sneaks it by Pang's pad on that left side and then the final goal mcdavid cross crease probably the only one that was actually really really clean i think pang he could have easily had three of those four well it is now time to make a decision you guys saw two games you saw ben bishop he played a little bit shaky let's be honest but darren pang in that second game let in some of the weirdest goals that I have ever seen. Now, by no means is this an easy decision, but if we're choosing between 5'5 five, five, Darren Pang and 6'7 Ben Bishop, Darren Pang, I hate to say it, man, you have to go. So there you have it. Ben Bishop, although he did have a pretty bad game, I think more of it was on my defense, whereas with the Darren Pang game, those were just some crazy goals. So for now, I'm going to stick to the big man, Ben Bishop in net. I hope you guys enjoyed this little test. If you want to see more videos like this one, let me know your ideas in the comment section down below. That is it for this one. Much more NHL 20 and real life content to come. Be sure to hit the video with a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't. We are on the road to 400,000 subscribers. I'll see you guys next time and peace.